colossal, stupendous. One might even go so far as to say he's mediocre. I give you that paragon of pep and personality, Sleepy Lagoon. Greetings, one and all, Sleepy Lagoon signing on. We are continuing with the Pink Floyd album, The Piper at the Gates of Dawn. I'm really enjoying the vibe of the album so far. It reminds me of my early Beatles experience when I first heard them. Back when I was 9 or 10 years old. So we're continuing on. We're on the fourth track, Flaming. I'm enjoying the vibe we're getting so far. We started with a bang, Astronomy Domine, so I'm wondering when we're going to get to more uh, avant-garde stuff again. <laughs> but I'm enjoying both. I'm enjoying the the uh, avant-garde and the more generalized... and the more generalized tracks. But, flaming, let's go. Three, two, one. Ooh. All right. Alone in the clouds of blue, lying on an eider down. You be, you can't see me, but I can you. Sitting on a unicorn No fear, you can't hear me But I can you Watching buttercups come the light A lot of crazy stuff going on in here. It's almost like they're cranking up a, a wind-up toy. Drums. That one started quickly. Let me. Yeah, wow. That started crazy. That reminded me that with the way that started, what it what it put in my head was almost like it was cutting back and forth between like the average like sixties sound. But then he, you, you, they were throwing in some crazy stuff going on. You know, you heard like, to me, wind up toys. And, like, we started with like a whistle, and there was a droning noise. Like that, he was playing around a lot, and that I really liked that. And it's very funny because the voice, the voice especially, it's it's very like, um, you know, British invasion esque. I find this very interesting because it just it feels like the traditional rock band, 
but um, you could tell what with the era, what with the year, it is clear. He's clearly trying to. When I say he, I mean Sid Barrett is clearly throwing in some crazy stuff. You know, where it was like a, it was almost like teasing us. You know, like he was. It was sort of peeking through. It's like looking through a hole in a wall, and like you're seeing some of the picture, but you're not getting the whole picture. I don't know. I'm probably talking nonsense, but you got <laughs> you get the general idea. I enjoyed that. That was another psychedelic, interesting take on a on a six of these, on a sixties rock band. Well, up next is Pow R Talk H or Pow Power Talk Touch. I don't know, <laughs> but we're gonna find out next time. I'm Sleepy Lagoon. If you enjoy this, if you want to join me in my prog rock journey and my music journey in general because i have so much music i want to listen to give me a subscribe if you liked the video like and i hope you will join me because we are listening in on the greatest songs of all time i am a deep listener and i really enjoy hearing what these amazing artists have created for us to hear this is sleepy lagoon signing off <laughs>